We totally get it. You've built a beautiful PDF form. You put it up on the web. Somebody clicks on it. And when you open it up inside Chrome, you get this viewer. It's not something that really was designed to allow you to do a lot with the form. You can kind of type into the fields, but the drop down boxes don't work. The signatures don't work. Here's a drop down box that doesn't work. You can't submit the form. You're really kind of stuck. So how do you get this form to do what you really want? The first option is you can change the default PDF viewer in Chrome to the free Adobe Reader or Acrobat. This will make it so that when you actually click on a PDF, it'll download and open it inside of an Adobe product. The next thing you could do is you could enable your PDF forms to work with all web browsers. And this is where FormRouter comes in. We actually make technology that does this, but we'll get to that later. Let's take a look and show you how to make Chrome behave the way you really want it to behave. Before we get started, let's make sure that PDF by default is opened by either Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader. And the way you do this is you take a PDF that's on your desktop, I'm on a Windows machine, and when I right mouse click on it, I can go down to open with, and I can choose another app. Now when I do that, it says keep using Adobe Acrobat DC. This is set as my default right now. But if it wasn't, I could choose Adobe Acrobat DC right here, select the button, always use this app to open up PDF files and click OK. And that will force all PDFs to open up inside of my Adobe Acrobat DC, or I could set that to Adobe Reader. The next step is to open up your Chrome web browser. And over here, there's a little dot, dot, dot button. I'll select that and I'll select settings. When I get to settings, I want to go into privacy and security. And over here we have site settings. Now you have to scroll down a bit and on mine, it's actually kind of hidden. I have to click on this where it says additional content settings. They hide it a bit and there it says PDF documents. I'll click on that. When I click on that, you can see download PDF files instead of automatically opening them in Chrome. This is what we want. We want them to download and then not open in Chrome, but actually open up inside of an Adobe product. So I'm going to click this button here. And when I do, it sets it automatically. Now, when I go and put in the address of a PDF form, what happens is the PDF form downloads and opens up instantly in my Adobe Acrobat. Now, this works great if it's me using my own Acrobat or Reader on my own machine and I need to work on forms. But if you have forms that you want to send out to the general public and you don't know what they're gonna be using, they could be using iPads or iPhones or Mac devices, or some other device and you're not sure what they're using and you have a PDF form, FormRouter has developed a technology that we run on our servers and it's called the PDF Form Viewer. This is an example of that same PDF inside our PDF Form Viewer. And as you can see, you can type into the form. It supports date pickers. All your drop down boxes work. You can actually have calculations in here if you like. And something very interesting, you can sign the form and also you can submit it. And this works on all major web browsers and all devices. So if you have the need to share forms with the general public or people who you're not sure what type of device they're using, please check out our technology at formrouter.com.